Hey everyone, Michael Shamblum here with a quick Lightroom tutorial. As you know, Adobe Lightroom or uh, Adobe in general has released a new version of Lightroom, Lightroom CC, and it has this nifty little feature here called Dehaze. It's being talked about a lot. And I thought it would be fun to just try it out on some different images. Now, a lot of people have been using it to take their hazy images and obviously dehazing them, which is essentially what the filter is supposed to do. But I think there's also a few other applications that may be cool for this slider. So let's go ahead and just try it out. So here I have obviously a very hazy image. This was taken in Shanghai, China, and there was a decent amount of pollution. I'm also shooting through glass and that does not help. So, you know, if you bring this dehaze slider up, as you can see, it does bring in some tonal contrast. You know, obviously you'd need to go in and increase the exposure to account for it, but it does what it says it's going to do. It dehazes the image and it does a good job. Now, obviously a lot of color correction would need to be taken here, but pretty solid. Another cool thing I found is if you decrease the dehaze slider, you can actually add more haze, which is kind of interesting. You can add sort of like fog to the image. Now if we take it down to like 50 and we start messing with some of the other sliders, I mean, you can add some really interesting looks to your images. Now obviously this isn't gonna work for every image, but for this one, I actually kind of like what the haze filter has done here. It's kind of interesting. Now here's another image, again, very hazy taken through a glass window, taken in Shanghai, a lot of pollution. And same as before, if we go through, use the dehaze slider, it does just an awesome job of cutting through the haze, giving more tonal contrast to the buildings. It's just in general a great filter. And obviously a little bit of color correction would be needed, but pretty good. It saves a lot of time. Now if we decrease it, Again, you get that really interesting faded look, that dreamy kind of glowy look, and I think it's pretty cool. You know, for this image, I would almost do two versions, one where the haze is corrected and one where it just looks like this really glowy, crazy sunset. Now, it does add a lot of warmth to the image, so I'd need to go through and kind of, well, let's see here, let's cool off the image just a little bit. But, yeah. Really interesting. Here's another image taken in Shanghai. And for this one, it's not very hazy. I mean, it wasn't a hazy sunset at all. Uh, it was fine. You know, nice tonal contrast in the clouds. Now, if I was gonna edit this photo, I'd probably go in and bring in more contrast into the clouds. Well, I found with the dehaze filter, you could bring this up and it adds the tonal contrast in. And it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Now if we take it down again, you get that ethereal look. You start to bleed the tonal contrast. Gives the image kind of like a ghostly look. This may be good for black and white images as well. Here's one more. An image shot through glass. We have some crazy haze going on over here. Bring D haze. Does an awesome job cutting through it, just like the other images. Now, this is the thing that I found the most interesting. These are all cityscape images. They're all shot in some pretty bad conditions, I guess, you know, pollution, haze, glass windows, all of that. Now, what if we were to take this dehaze filter and use it on an image that doesn't really have any haze? An image like this, a waterfall image. What could we do here? Well, if we use the dehaze filter, we can bring in tonal contrast and create some really interesting contrasty looks to our waterfall image. That's pretty cool. And on the other side, you can take the dehaze down and create some really cool glowy foggy waterfall looks as well. And I think it's pretty interesting and I, I'm, I'm gonna keep playing with this filter and seeing you know, what kind of effects we can have on our images. Obviously there's a lot of tweaking to be done here but I think there's many more applications for this slider beyond just the typical dehaze a really hazy shot, you know? So I thought it'd be fun to share. I hope you guys found it fun as well. Keep watching for more tutorials. Thank you so much, guys, for checking in.